Like today we're gonna to talk about grip, okay? So there's a couple of things here. Your, your strong hand is the hand you use the most. Your support hand is your opposite hand. Your strong hand, you have to get as high up into this dovetail as possible. That's just a little curved part on the firearm, okay? So this webbing, this webbing right here in your hand, your strong hand, needs to get high up in that dovetail. So right here, just like that. From there, you wrap your three amigos down around the pistol grip itself, like that. Your finger trigger high up on the gun and not in the trigger well. Now on the left side, what we're gonna see is this thumb's not really doing anything. It needs to be out of the way, so move it out of the way. Your support thumb, point it to the target and open these fingers up to lock the wrist and find a touch point on the gun and then fill this gap in like so that thumb's not really doing anything it's just a touch point you're not pressing with it or anything like that you're trying to make a vice with your hands okay and it doesn't need to be gripped very hard because then you'll be shaken okay you got to find out what's comfortable for you now, normally, I would have my hand up higher, but the problem with this gun is that I don't want to hit that arbitrarily. I want, so I want to make sure I'm clear of the, um, the magazine stop, or excuse me, the slide stop or a slide release, however you want to call it. But basically, I don't want to actuate that when I run out of rounds because I want it to operate correctly. So my touch point here and here and I try to make make sure that I'm clear of the slide stop. All right. So now I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a slow motion video of my grip, so you guys can see what's going on there. 